Hello, Raven Nation. Welcome to FPTV. My name is Matt Dresselhaus. Let's get into the news stories for tonight. So for our first story, Jill Stein, the Green Party candidate running for president, was escorted off Hofstra University's campus since she did not qualify to be part of tonight's debate between Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump. To be part of the presidential debates, candidates need to have at least 15% of the major polls to qualify. Her and Gary Johnson were not able to reach that number. Stein with an average of 3.2% and Johnson with an 8.4%. Both the Libertarian and Green Party candidates will have to improve their polling averages before the next debate, which will be on October 9th. For our second story, Apple may be coming out with iPhone software that will lock out phones for drivers. Due to the massive increase of car crashes, mostly from texting and driving, Apple feels a responsibility since many people are just told texting and driving is dangerous but only having that warning and getting a ticket are the only things holding people back from putting themselves and others at risk. Other sorts of technology that could solve it as well, such as having speech to text so drivers do not even have to look or hold their phones to text. For our third story tonight, officers for the Department of Business have been uh, erected where Crestview once stood. Over summer break, Crestview, a condemned building on campus, was taken down. A banner previously hung on Crestview had said it would be on a new science center. Four modulars were put out where Crestview once stood. Dr. Marianne Gall, a business division chair, said, I think there were mixed feelings about moving. I know I'm excited about it because it's potentially a step to getting our own building. Business was originally set to move into office space in Edgewood, according to Gall. However, because of the increased number of freshmen, administration chose to move the division to a modular structures, freeing up space in Edgewood for student dorm rooms. Gall said the original plan was to move Edgewood because it was a center for academic excellence and wants to, to the fifth floor so they can expand. There, was, there is no set date for the move. The Department of Business is still located at the fifth floor of the library. One of the students' favorite local eateries has moved. Sandwich Master is now located in the same place as Dunkin' Donuts across from Walmart. The new location offers an, a newly added party room which can hold up to 15 people. There are some new menu options featured such as uh, soft serve ice cream flavors and what General Earl Marshall refers to as some wacky new Sundays. Marshall says he's excited about the new opening. Come on down and check us out, he said. Marshall and family members run the kitchen, according to worker Sam White. The new location makes Sandwich Master stand out to the public because it's a busier area of range. On the other hand, sophomore Sarah Daly said, I was wondering if they got bigger and they have the same customer connection, Sandwich Master's hiring. After months of geese overpopulation, border collies are used to um, chase large flocks of geese off campus. FPU has hired a geese chasing company that scares away the birds with the help of canine companions. This is a long-term problem that needed to finally be addressed, said Douglas Lear, a 14-year Franklin Pierce employee and director of facilities on campus. The geese cha chasing is accomplished by border collies that scare them away without harming them. It's a humane way to chase the geese to somewhere else, said Lear. The services are helping um, solve some major problems for the Ringe campus. The large quantities of birds have been creating messy walkways because of the feces they leave, leave behind. However, the bird poop is causing problems in other places rather than the walkways. The Pearly Pond Association has teamed up with Franklin Pierce in recent months to help enhance the water qualities in Pearly. After an engineer was brought to test the water, results show high level of phosphorus. Geese scat caused higher levels of phosphorus, so the decision was made that the geese needed to go. Geese numbers on campus have decreased since last spring before the services began. Last year we could see 60 to 80 geese, whereas this year we'd see about 20 to 30 geese, said environmental science professor Catherine Koning. It seems to me like there are less and less. Land surveyors have been on campus for the past two weeks updating maps to include buildings erected in the past 20 years or so. Multiple surveyors have been spotted on campus wearing bright orange safety vests and operating what is known the geolocation industry as a total station on a tripod. Total stations use GPS mapping to accurately record coordinates, heights, and distances. John Newman, one of the surveyors, said, The last time our company was hired here in the 90s, we were surveying the new buildings to update the maps. The company, Richard D. Barlett and Associates LLC, was hired by the university to update maps. Newman and his partners were by the bubble, he said. We're shooting the new shed. It hasn't been here since the last time we surveyed. Their surveying crew plans to be on campus until the end of the week of September 18th. They still need to, be, uh, need to complete mappings of Pappas and Sodexo fields. Senior Allison Palma said, I think it's odd that they've been working so long. It doesn't seem like they're doing anything constructive, and I honestly don't know why they're here. FPU's Chief Financial Officer, Sandra Akwai, was unavailable to answer questions about the surveyor's contract. When the mapping is completed, it will go to a state registry, and what happens from there depends on the contract with the customer. 
The surveyors must be licensed in each state with a survey. Newman said they are mainly staying in New Hampshire, but also survey parts of Maine. And that does it for our news stories tonight. I'm Matt Russell House, and thank you for tuning in. Stay for next week. Thank you.